Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clay and in today's video, we're going to be checking out the LAB-330. When it comes to sniper rifles, this is definitely my favorite sniper in the game. Now, marksman rifles are a different story. I don't really consider these snipers, but if I had to choose the SAB-50, it is probably one of my favorites, or the SPR. Getting into the attachments, I am going to be using the ZLR T70 pad extension for the stock. It adds crouch movement speed, sprint speed, and aim down sight speed. The cons are recoil control, but that doesn't really matter too much with snipers. For the stock tuning, I'm going with negative 2.45 ounces to the weight to add aim down sight speed, and negative 1.47 inches to the length to add aim walking speed. Over on the comb, I'm using the aim assist 406. It adds sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. The cons are aiming stability and aim walking speed. For the comb tuning to get back the aim walking speed that we lost, I'm going to be taking away a negative 0.20 ounces to the weight to add the aim walking speed. And for aim, more aim down sight speed, I'm taking away point, or negative 0.15 inches to the thickness for the aim down sight speed. Now, to make this sniper even better, I am adding the .300 high velocity ammunition. It adds bullet velocity. The cons are damage range, but the crazy thing is about with the ammunition tuning, you can add damage range and bullet velocity, which is really, really good. So you just want to copy this down. And on the barrel, I'm using a 23.5 inch fluted R67 barrel as damage range, hip fire accuracy, movement speed, and bullet velocity. The tuning I'm going to be going with is 0.40 pounds to the weight to add recoil steadiness and negative 0.30 inches to the length to add aim walking speed. And for more aim down sight speed, I am adding the FSS OLEV laser for the aim down sight speed, aiming stability, and sprint to fire speed. The laser is visible whenever you ADS, so you got to keep that in mind. For the laser tuning, I'm taking away negative 0.35 ounces to the weight to add sprint to fire speed. And I just went ahead and made the zeroing distance all the way over to aim down sight speed. Overall, this is a really good gun, and this class setup is even makes the gun even better. And you will see that I ended up dropping 81 kills. I did have a little bit of help with other guns, but I dropped a nuke for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, I'm going to be using the LAB-330. It's been a little while since I've actually committed to sniping. I'm gonna try my best here. There's one, there's two. There's another one. What is this guy doing? Can't wall bang that. I think I just got a clap right there. I don't know how, but six kills already. I'm gonna try to flank them here and pick up this guy. guy over here, I think he's AFK. He wasn't, I don't know what he was doing though. And we're kind of popping off right now. Okay, I don't know if this guy's. Advice: UAV is exiting the 
this gun just in case. Scared right now. I'm on a big streak. Ah, oh, as soon as I say something, like I don't know why I had to say something. I do know one thing. Pretty sure this is a. Uh... Oh. I know that this is a wall being spot. I'm not gonna waste all my ammo. My, my teammates are in though. That guy's using a crossbow. So scared right now. No teammate. I don't know what streak I'm on right now. I'm on a 25. 
No, I finally died. Oh my god. People are gonna say that's not a nuke with a sniper, but I'm taking it. Enemy targets at the hard point. No. Come on, teammates. I want this game to last a little bit longer. Bro, come help me. Like, what are they doing right there? Okay, that makes no sense. Sniper.
That's gonna be 81 kills. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. GG's.